I am Robert Cutter, and this is my wife, Gail. I am also known as RVRC, and uh, if you're from the South, you know about the RC and the Moon Pie, and so she, her nickname is Moon Pie. And the airplane that we built together that's behind us is Moon Pie 2. So uh, that's our relationship with, with this airplane. But, uh, I had started this project um, and was working on the empanage when Gail and I met and told her I was building a plane. She said, I will go out there with you, but I will not sit and watch. So I taught her how to drill, how to deburr, how to rivet, how to buck rivets. And she bucked 99% of the rivets in this airplane. And she learned how to do fiberglass and did 99.9% .9 of the fiberglass work on this airplane. So uh, almost an eight year project and uh, built it here in this hangar. And uh, we've been flying it now for five years and have almost 530 hours on it, so. And I'm a teacher by trade and I consider this my uh, most effective professional development. As a teacher, I'd often told my children, well, just read it again and you'll get it the second time. And Robert had taught me all of the words, the cliquelo, the longerons, the buck rivets. I could say all those words just with the best of them. And I'd read it and I'd read it again and I'd read it three or four times and I still didn't know what to do. So it changed the way I taught school. I no longer told children, just read it again and you'll get it. Because if you don't understand what you're reading, you don't understand that. So he would explain it and then by the time we finished, I could read it and understand what to do. So we enjoyed it. It was a great hobby. We thoroughly enjoyed the build process. Um, slow build kit and uh, we built that and thoroughly enjoyed the building together. We dated for a year while building it and then got married and spent still seven more years building the project with one grandchild, then we ended up with seven or eight by the time we finished, and now we have nine, and several of them have been with us in this airplane as well. But uh, the building process was absolutely wonderful and a great bonding for us as we were uh, getting to know each other. Um, building the project itself was hours and hours of a blast and there were times that you could have bought the whole project for $25. <laughs> and I've left here in tears many times during the build process. But uh, Gail would build me up and we had great technical advisors on the field that would help us out. And uh, we pulled through it and ended up with a wonderful magic carpet. So we really enjoy it. We've been traveling some in it. Took it from Columbia, South Carolina to Fort Worth, Texas to GLO Custom Paint to have it painted with I call him the Michelangelo of uh, RV painting. We were the 211th RV he had painted and uh, still absolutely love the work he did there. Um, but we've been to Ohio in it. We've been out to uh, First Flight Kitty Hawk and uh, just a number of trips like that. We make a lot of um, hour or so trips for lunch to the beach, to the mountains, uh, different places like that and to visit family and friends. We go a lot of just up and around. And then Robert also flies some cancer patients to their hospital of choice to get their cancer treatment. And he's done some Make-A-Wish Foundation flights for, you know, we try, um, we, we consider this plane too expensive of a hobby not to share it with others. So we share it anytime we can and anybody that wants to go up, we'll take them. But we don't try to talk anybody into going up. Fuel's too expensive. If you don't want to go up, no, we're not going to talk into it. <laughs> yeah, but we've made angel flights with it and thoroughly enjoy being able to give back and pay forward what other people have done for us and uh, uh, just really enjoy the project. The Vans kit uh, was not my top priority for years. I wanted a Whitman Tailwind and uh, I'm not a small person and realized I would not fit in one. I had bought an RV4 project from a stepbrother that had not worked on it for years and uh, both of my boys were quite large and I knew they'd never fit in the rear seat of the four. And so uh, I was single at the time, uh, divorced, and knew that one day I would have a significant other with me and I wanted her beside me, so we chose the seven. And I'm a former Super Cub driver, so I had the tailwheel time and uh, that's why we went with the tailwheel and the slider airplane. The seven has just been a wonderful airplane. We well, really seem like quite the team. Uh, we we really are. We we have thoroughly enjoyed it, and we enjoy flying it together as well. So, 
Gail not being a pilot, but she can fly the plane. She handles it well. She knows how to work the radio, uh, knows how to turn the autopilot off and on. And uh, she says she need, she'll only land it once when I have the big one. <laughs> so. <clears throat> so sometimes an interesting, tricky question, but what would your lives be like if there were no RVs? That's kind of depressing. <laughs> uh, I fly corporately in jets and turboprops, so I do get to fly some, and previously I'd owned an air coupe. But uh, the building process was so much fun through this, and then knowing that the end was to get to fly our own plane. And so after five years of flying it, we still talk often when we're flying, man, we built this thing, and that is just so cool. And I do think for us it was a bonding thing as we were dating throughout the whole process. They say that married people can't wallpaper together. Well, as you're dating, you really learn each other really well. And there was a couple of very uh, tense moments, shall we say, and clicos <laughs> going flying and perhaps a concussion as a result of it. We don't really know, but um, yeah, it was, a, yeah. it was a wonderful bonding experience. And I don't know where our relationship would be if we hadn't had that time for that. So, um, you know, you just don't ever know where we would have ended up, but it was wonderful and we enjoy it now. We go up, uh, I have friends ask me at school, how often y'all go up? Every time the weather's good and Robert's at home, that's how often we go up. Yeah, so. thoroughly enjoy it. Now I'll ask her, where would you like to go today? And she'll say, up, up. <laughs> just up, get airborne. So we flew for an hour earlier today, just uh, didn't go anywhere but up. You talked about your grandkids. And I saw back behind this airplane, there's something else hidden back there. Yes. <laughs> can you show us that? Uh, I can. I can pull that out. Um, we bought the plans, and I think they were plans number four from an RV builder who offered the plans for sale. And Been flown in a while, it's got some <laughs> dust. <laughs> so, we built the plane uh, for our grandkids, a pedal plane, and uh, we actually painted this airplane to look like Moon Pie 2. And so, this is actually Moon Pie, I think, 0.5, they call it. <laughs> but um, we have grandkids that like to ride in this around the airport when they come visit us. That's pretty and You cool. can actually steer it, the tail wheel. I mean, there's a, there's a control stick there's that control moves the tail wheel. Moves the tail wheel. <laughs> so. That's pretty and of course, it does have an advanced flight system EFAS glued to the panel there to, <laughs> to duplicate the two we have in ours. So. 